Alrighty everybody, this is going to be a tutorial video for the Sony a7 III. Uh, so on the bottom of the camera right here is going to be the battery door where the battery goes. On the side here is the card slots that go in there. And on the top right there is the on off switch right there. And well, as we're looking at the top, we'll look at the dial here. The movie mode is where we want to be. The manual mode is not where we want to be, that's for photos. So we want to be in movie mode and specifically not S and Q. Do not ever shoot in S and Q. Movie mode, good. Alrighty, so looking at the back of the camera here, we've got our uh, ISO adjustment. So if I click that side wheel, it'll pull up my ISO wheel and I'll be able to scroll through the different ISOs of the camera. And if I hit this display button on top, it toggles between the information that's displayed on the screen. So if I'm looking for my histogram or whatever it is, I can just hit that button and it'll display through all those. Alrighty. This button over here on the left will adjust your audio levels, which typically will have them about in the middle. Just don't want any of the audio to be peaking um, on the wedding. The bottom screen here will turn the screen black and all of the view will be through the EVF at the top. So we wanna make sure that uh, you know that button. So if you, oh, the screen's black, I don't know what to do. Likely you're looking through the EVF, just check that and then click this bottom D-pad button to adjust that. And then, let's see here, the uh, joystick here will move your focus point. If you see that small box moving around on the screen, joystick moves that around for you. This AEL button up by your, my top thumb is going to change this from AFC into MF. MF stands for manual focus, AFC is autofocus continuous. So if I'm doing a full length event and I wanna lock my focus into uh, manual focus, all I gotta do is press that button once my focus is selected, it goes to manual focus. Cool. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is a C3 button at the top that turns on zebras. So if my image is overexposed, you can see all those zebra stripes show up. That's what that uh, C3 button does. The button here at the top, C1, will change it to this uh, white balance selection screen. So I can just come in here and go over and then adjust my Kelvin as needed. And the C2 button pulls up the different focus modes, center spot, zone spot, wide spot, and uh, my personal favorite, the flexible spot L. The FN button right here pulls up the uh, card slot selection, which should be, uh, you can go one or two, and it should auto roll over to the next card if that card fills. And in the FN menu as well, you can adjust your white balance, you can adjust your focus area, adjust your ISO. This thumb uh, wheel right here changes your shutter speed. This, there's a wheel up here by my pointer finger right there that you can spin and that changes your aperture. And then the ISO adjustment is click that button there and spin the wheel and your ISO will adjust. Alrighty, let's see here. Any other questions? I'm gonna go into the menu. We have a uh, favorite menu set up over here on the side where you can change your record setting. Uh, 60 frames per second at 50M is what we want for slow-mo. 24p at 50m is what we want for real time. And uh, we typically don't use 120 uh, except in very specific situations. That's how you change your record setting there. If your finder monitor, finder monitor is auto switching or it's like changing whatever you cover up this, you want it, that means it's on auto mode. So then you would wanna change it to manual mode if that's bothering you there. Also, if there's a card in there, that's how you're gonna format the card. So that's how you change your frame rate and that's how you format the card and that's how you adjust that, that screen setting there. That is all that I've got for you. If you have any questions, let us know.